Chief Inspector Nui said drug dealers who smuggle drugs into Namibia are mostly foreigners who mainly deal in the sale of cocaine. The drugs originate from countries such as Angola, South Africa, Zambia and Brazil. Nui said most Namibians who are involved in drug trafficking become addicts themselves, while foreigners who influence them do not use the substances because they know the dangers posed by drugs. There are many dangers associated with substance abuse, ranging from work and relationship issues to physical, legal, emotional and financial problems, and that can destroy families. It costs 100,000 Namibian dollar to rehabilitate one person who is addicted by drugs. Nui advised adults not to allow their children to be exposed to smoking because they may end up using the drugs. Mostly the children are being used to, uh, first of all, to, to go and buy drugs like uh, cannabis. Um, if you send a child or if a child is sent to buy a, a value like this one, he or she may think what is it, what, what, what is in, and uh, try to test what happened if he or she do it, uh, like uh, he see the elder person who is putting in on the pipe and smoke and so on. He says parents should be vigilant because some minors are used to transport parcels containing drugs from one destination to another. Bus drivers were also cautioned to be careful not to transport parcels of strangers without knowing the content. And uh, because if they are caught with uh, this type of things, they are the only one to face trouble. Although they may say, no, I was given that parcel by somebody else. We will not follow that one. We don't know him or her. We know the one who is caught red-handed with that thing. He's also concerned of women involved in drug dealing instead of indulging in useful businesses to help their families and contribute to the country's economy.